On live chat, as you guys know, basically at this point, our competitor, yep, basically, competitor type soul. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Woo, they had a weekly up, they had their weekly update. They had their weekly update, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Oh my goodness. They exploded. Holy fuck, bro. I feel like the game kind of fell off for like a number of reasons that were that aren't present here. Does that make sense? Like, A, the devs had a bunch of dev drama and weren't coordinated or united. There was like niggas who like leaked the game and left the team. K1 got kicked off or like fired. Like all this like dev fucking fuck shit, right? And then the moderation, all this drama and shit. It was, and then there was just no content being dropped. There was like no content for the game being dropped. No devs were working on it. So it was first off, hella grindy progression. Mod team was shit. Be real. Uh, dev team, all fucked up. What the fuck, bro? Game got leaked. There was copies. People played the copies. Type Soul literally went down to under 100 players. No lie. And then on top, and then guess what happened? They actually, they came back. Now they got a, they got a coordinated dev team, right? And them niggas are actually dropping content. Actually, no. One of, one of the devs is my homie Nueva. He works on the game just whenever. It's pretty easy for him to make content. He just makes content for the weeklies, right? He dropped like a good couple things for the weeklies. And they have a couple of devs all doing that together. They're all just consistently working on the game. And, but niggas are telling me it's gonna fall off. Is it? If not, maybe even like be above it. Cause look, Peroxide, it still has its players. Even though it did decrease, it has a steady stream. This is what I think is realistically going to happen to Type, type Soul. Not that it's going to go to... Un it, it literally died because there was literally zero content being added to the game. But they have pledged, I think, to do weekly content. And their weekly drops are low-key pretty good, apparently. People told me they're actually pretty nice. They have good weeklies. So I don't know why people are saying it's gonna like it's gonna fall off the same way. I just realistically I don't see it's probably if anything it might do this eventually and then be stable. It might plateau eventually, but I don't think it's gonna die again. And if they and here's the thing, it could always have you know it could also happen too. I don't know if this this will because I don't know the issues with types. So I don't play the game enough, you know, right? But it could always just have a high, it could always just consistently maintain a decent high amount of players. If they if they actually manage to maintain the weeklies constantly, right? Or they might just keep like a good couple tens of thousands of players consistently, which is bad for us because that means, bro, we go, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be real competition. So we'll have to see. I still think Deboken will smash when Conquest pulls up. But like these niggas are like, bro, Bro, where's, uh, where, where's that old type soul, bro? I need to look for the old one. So let's take a look at the old one. I don't know how big the old one got, but we can see that at the start, it was pretty booming, right? Then it kind of fell down a bit after, let, let's take a look. July 6th, right? We take a look now, it's like July 15th. It kind of falls down. And this one, it, July, it's like, wait, where is it? All the way over here. July 31st, it's over here, and it's kind of falling down after like a month, right? So after like a week and a half or two weeks, it was already starting to waver a little bit. It's been 10 days, nine nine days. Starting to waver, right? Now let's look at current type so right now. It's been how many days? Let's take a look. They dropped March 30th. It's been two weeks. They've been consistent, and they've actually got, this is their first time going up. So they've kind of stayed on the same line and now they've actually increased. Old type so kind of went down, it, it kind of stabled and went down. Current type so stable went up. This is why I think it's not just gonna really fall off. In my opinion, the trends are showing that it's probably gonna be here to stay for a good bit in my opinion. This is what I'm gonna say. All right, this is what I'm gonna say. In my opinion, even though type so is kind of responsible for taking some of the views off D, this is true. In my opinion, besides like fresh shit, Besides like me, Supa, and like Valak or Valakus and Punchy, and like probably like Birmingham, Mosquito, besides like the top YouTubers, right? Uh, as a whole, they've taken views off of Deep Booking, which is kind of true, right? And so that actually uh, damn near affects every YouTuber, right? Every YouTuber. Meanwhile, you know what I'm saying? Type so, oh, I mean, Type so, Type so has its, yeah, Type so has its top people. And so less YouTubers in the YouTube scene for a game is bad. I'm so serious. If you have no YouTubers on your game, your game will probably have less players. I'm serious. Now, there are people that will go out there and be like, ah, oh, dude, that would be a blessing. Nothing would ever get leaked. But guess what, bro? 
guess what? No one's no one's talking. There's no like discussion on the channel and shit. There's no like things to go and watch and shit. You know what I'm saying, right? Some people stop hearing about the game. Some people come back because they hear from YouTube. It'll be like a while. They'll see a video. Conquest release. Wait, what? Hey, yo, Conquest is out. Some people aren't really checking the debug. And I know some of y'all niggas do. Or every week. Y'all come back, y'all check the debug in Discord, see if anything was posted, see if anything the dev said, right? But guess what? There's a lot of people who stop playing the game. They don't really care. They only hear about stuff from sometimes YouTubers, right? So there's no YouTubers on the shits. That's bad. And so that's why type so stealing our YouTubers is, is also kind of a negative thing, right? But type so having the success is good in my opinion. Because you know what it is? Competition breeds innovation. Being real, right? I know that I know the devs know that Conquest will, will bring the shits back up. I know they know that. They know that if they really they can drop Conquest, the shit will do numbers. But but I know they also know that did look consistent, consistent, consistent. Ew. That shit ain't natural, bruh. And you see what I'm saying, right? I know. I know they know that Type Soul took the shits. They know. I'm telling you they know. Literally, look. It correlates perfectly. Literally, perfectly. March 30th. March 29th. Fall off. 29th. Bam. So, I'm just saying, bro, right? Competition breeds innovation. And I will hope that it would almost be a kind of motivator. You know what I mean, right? It's not gonna be. We'll see. We'll see. I know they're back. I know they're back in the. Uh, they're back in the studio right now, as we probably speak. In there, working on the conquest shits, bro. But I'm being real, bro. I fucking love this game. Also, this game is my job. So both things are true. I love this game. This game is my job, nigga. So I'm the number one glazer. I know I'm the number one deep open glazer, and I'm the number one deep open dev glazer. But I can keep it real. Mother is going re restless, and guess what? When there are restless niggas, they're eager to jump on something else, right? And so guess what? As soon as they got a drop of another game, as soon as they got a drop of another game that has new content that they could be interesting, BAM! We lose 33% or more of our fucking player base like that overnight. Overnight, not even gradual, overnight. But not to this extent, bro. So that's how I know niggas are starting to really grow restless, bro. They are. I'm like, I can't even cap, bro. I can't even cap. I know Conquest will bring it back. But it's like, bro. Now, at the same time, like I said, the numbers we are at now are still better to what we had back then. But before we had the big ass drops, like in October-ish, we had kind of bozo numbers. Not really bozo numbers, honestly. This is better than what we had <laughs> here. But, right, we're still doing better than back then. Uh, but still, though, it's like, it's just, it's, it's, um, it's a matter of percentages, in my opinion, right? You know what I'm saying? We have, we have, it's not that we're at, like, okay, yeah, 10 to 20k players is still really fucking good for deep, which is, you know what I'm saying, right? But here's the thing, here's the thing, right? Even though that's really good for deep, we were even, we were godly, we were on the top, we were on the throne, we've been dethroned low-key. We kind of we got our shit cut. So even though we, even though we're still like a god tier character, right? We kind of got nerfed. Even though we're a good character. If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure to go click on these other videos, man. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.